Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ibrahim Sheikh. I'm the emergency wash program manager for Care Somalia. It's my pleasure to share with you work done on sanitation by Care Somalia. The title of the work we did is uh, Women and Girls Centered Latrine Co Creation Approach to Increase Accessibility and Optimize Use of Shared Household Latrines in Somalia. Generally in Somalia, the latrine coverage is low and is put at 38% for access to basic sanitation, while an estimated 28% of communities in Somalia practice open defecation. In the project area, which is of Madhu district in Lower Juba, southern Somalia, a rapid wash assessment done by Care Somalia indicated that in the IDP comes, which is a project area in Doble Town, a total of 3,911 households were sharing only 32 shared household latrines. This therefore means one latrine was serving 122 households. This is a very serious gap when compared to the Somalia National Wash Guidelines, which indicates or prescribes that every latrine is supposed to serve five households. Why did we undertake this intervention? Low access to latrine was heavily impacting women and girls, causing increased safety, privacy, and dignity challenges for women and girls. Open defecation was exposing the women and girls in the project area to risks of gender-based violence such as rape and assault. Uh, young girls were not using lat the few remaining latrines because of the location of the latrines. Uh, most of these latrines in, are in public places and due to cultural issues, uh, young girls were not very comfortable being seen going to the latrine. Thus, they were not able to adequately use these few existing latrines. On the other hand, women and girls were exposed to health risks as a result of holding urine the whole day until nightfall when they were trying to access the latrines. And many women and girls reported that this was ex potentially exposing them to risks of urinary tract infections. Care Somalia therefore developed a methodology of reaching out to women and girls to see how best the new approach is, imp is implemented. Uh, as the first methodology, we organized a focused participatory engagement sessions with women and girls across several IDP camps. Uh, the purpose of this uh, focused participatory discussion was to try to find out what are the key challenges with the existing, existing latrines and uh, Aspects or the items of discussions included latrine locations, proximity close to the dwellings where the girls and women live, the latrine door, door designs, uh, accessibility, issues around operation and maintenance of the latrines. We had a very fruitful discussions with several uh, women and girls across several IDPs and uh, among the key issues that was outlined for the co-created design latrine approach was close proximity to the latrines should be close to the dwellings uh, because this now gives access of day and night usage for the latrines by women and girls. Uh, the other issue that came out of the feedback was the latrine door design. The doors should be facing the households, not the public, so that uh, the communal perspective or cultural beliefs of women and girls finding it difficult to use or to be seen going to the latrines is addressed. Uh, the other aspect was uh, issues of how the door opens. Uh, most women and girls in the, during the discussions indicated that they feel more comfortable and more better place to lock a door that swings inside when they're in the, in the latrine in the event that they feel they are being threatened from outside. So they said they use less efforts uh, 
to easily lock those that swing inside as opposed to those that swing outside. So looking at those feedback from women and girls, we embarked on now uh, putting up the new latrines. And uh, as we were constructing the, the, the latrines, we provided women and girls the opportunity to mark and indicate the site where the latrine is supposed to be put up. And using ash, they were able to mark their preferred uh, locations where they felt the latrine should be put up for them to be able to access uh, the latrines day and night. So many women and girls were able to freely do uh, marking of the latrine sites where we were able now to use those sites for construction of the latrines. What were the results? After constructing latrines through this approach, and we did a follow-up uh, assessment, it was very clear that there were marked improvements. Uh, the data from our mill department indicated that the latrine use through this new approach, the latrine uses, use has increased by 20% for both daytime use and uh, nighttime use. Women were more comfortable and they're able to use these latrines easily day and night, and 28% uh, increment was recorded. Uh, the second results that we were able to identify or learn from the experience was young girls were more comfortable in using these latrines and they clearly indicated that the latrine door is not facing the public so that was very good and the latrines were very close and not in public places so this is also another lesson that we learned in terms of uh, the new approach and another result that was very interesting was was that uh, one of the women who was a very active member of the discussions, Mrs. Nimo, reported to care teams that uh, women and girls from the neighboring IDPs who were not targeted by this intervention were coming over to use their latrines. It has really, the, the new approach has really created a pull effect into the new IDP, into the IDP camps where these latrines were put up. So what are the key lessons learned? The, the focused participatory discussion approach was so nice and acceptable to women and uh, this has generated a very active participation from both women and young girls who were able to discuss the challenges and uh, provide uh, suggestions for improvement of latrine designs, thus putting up uh, enabling care and uh, wash teams to, to come up with uh, uh, this kind of uh, new approach. And uh, secondly, as a lesson learned was this through this engagement with women and girls has enabled uh, women and girls have more sense of ownership in the latrines that they participated in designing. And uh, they were more cautious in terms of uh, uh, cleaning, they are more cautious in terms of operation and maintenance, and this has actually uh, resulted in marked improvement in terms of operation and maintenance of the latrines, mm -hmm. as compared to uh, the existing latrines which were not uh, put up in conjunction with the uh, women and girls consultation and their participation. Thank you.